Google Assistant. How why helping of the Google Assistant? How can we open our Android native application as well as the Flutter application? So it's for the Flutter. Like you have uh, seen Ghana app or YouTube. So whenever you say OK Google or Hey Google, open uh, this song in YouTube in Ghana, then they will not only not only open the application they open the application and play the song that you mention in the command right so same thing we can achieve in the um, through the google assistant in both applications so here's if you will search like google assistant implementation then there is a, their documents uh, um, url like developers.google so in reference there are they have given uh, inbuilt uh, intents right so inbuilt intents means they have like different categories intents so first you need to check in which category your applications fit supposing your applications related to order the food or uh, so related to social media and uh, suppose then you have created like um, related to the stock market or finance then here is like finance they have given for the you can check invoice or uh, stock quits also right <clears throat> so that is the first step and uh, after that uh, so this one but before this there is a you need to uh, set up before right so if i'll go in guide here is the overview and come here in the requirements so these steps must be required before implementation without this you can't run your applications so for google assistance you first required uh, uh, your play store account credentials and uh, so this is the first step after the same credentials you must log in in your device in which you will test that right before the publish so first um, you need to implement that intents after that you must be login on your android device on which you will test and after that uh, um, yeah of course whenever you develop you have android studio so sign in in android studio also yeah um, i have seen that many uh, developers don't know there is any signing option on the android studio yes there is a signing option and that is also must be required for doing this so these uh, three four steps uh, must be required if you will read it uh, so i'll show you there is the signing option in android studio so if you have seen in the right to, uh, top so there is it's my credentials uh, that's uh, i have used for uh, play store console also right so these first steps after that uh, <coughs> i'll come in reference so i'll show you one common intent if uh, out of these categories no one intent is fit for your application then you can go for the commons so in common you can check anyone so i'll show you the get thing that i have implemented so if you will uh, read their document proper they have mentioned here this uh, intent is for the searching purpose and whenever you use google assistant then of course there you will uh, do the some command after that you will mention your application name also like uh, like uh, play the song uh, dot 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 in ghana in youtube so you are mentioning the um, application name also and whatever the item you want right so here they have given example like uh, why using this intent which type of command will work here like find and look up and after uh, apart from these two i have tested like search and uh, there is a um, search and find yeah because look up these uh, commands will work like if i say that uh, search um, xyz in my app look up this or you can say that to find water find waterfall hikes on example app so this is the application name and this is the command first one right so it will work and this is very easy they have um, given everything here like uh, coding also so what you required so i'll suggest first use this uh, action so and they have um, given that where you will create that and uh, why using these things so i'll show you and uh, that is they have given and uh, they have given how can you test it by using so they have mentioned this app action test tool 
so this tool uh, you need to add in your android studio like and uh, this is a plugin so i'll show you step by step so i hopeful i don't want to uh, make this video long so that's why i'll explain you in a uh, 10 minutes so this is the first setup too and let's uh, start in the android studio so first step first log in the android studio to the same credentials and after that um, you need to um, install plugin if you have plugin then it's fine if you don't you can check that plugin you are available or not so uh, that plugin is available in the tools and in tools there is a uh, this is the app action so app action test tool through that you can um, set your command or uh, you can set a application name like ghana youtube or whatever xyz applications so this is the app action tool that they have mentioned here in the bottom this app action tool right so that you can if you don't have in, in go in tools and there is a app action if this option you don't have don't worry you can uh, go in preferences and uh, there is a you can add the plugin so it will come here and you will go plugin so in market and here you can enter uh, like uh, app action tool yeah so i have already installed this if you don't have you can install it after installing that restart android studio and uh, it will work fine so first of all if i'll follow this uh, so i'll just uh, copy paste uh, this code and i'll put this uh, xml action xml files in the our android module it's my uh, flutter application but uh, you can uh, open this android module in a separate android studio and after that you will start the work so in the resource uh, you um, create up an xml package or uh, directory in that you create a actions uh, file and in that you can here so it's very simple like uh, if you right click here and you can create a like uh, directory and here you can create up an xml files so, and uh, like it's new and it's the xml resource files then after that you will give the name of actions.xml after that i have implemented here uh, uh, two or three or many uh, intents you can uh, um, create many intents not only one so i have create, i'll show you only one here okay so this is a get things that we have uh, read now this get thing so this is the action so here they have uh, i have copy paste code so after that why i am using uh, this name because they have given like this name right my website this so why i am using this i'll explain you later so first remember one thing this should be uh, not change because it's if you are changing the url param url parameter then this is the query then you it should be same this query parameter like if you have use sql then you have idea okay and this is the their uh, action intent and why i'm using this in the both url template and the here this is the else part if your query is matching then you will get this and uh, this is a mention fallback if your query is not matching that this is the else part okay you will get the home in the query you will get uh, here you will get whatever you said through the google assistant like if you said like uh, find waterfall in your xyz application then you will get here waterfall if you say that uh, okay google open um, um, like xyz application and uh, search for this then if it's not matching this command then you will get the home else part okay so this is the first step after that these two things we will mention while we will define intents in manifest okay you all if you are uh, familiar with the android native then you know only that uh, any intent we want to implement we must uh, be defined in the manifest right so i have manifest here so like uh, uh, whenever you will create any android applications you know that um, you uh, this uh, intent to you must be uh, required because through that intent your application launch right so if even you have not implemented these google assistants and you will uh, try to get intent in the um, our 
main activity class then you will get the this main intent by default because through that you will uh, like your application start or that will show the first screen okay so same thing we will create have one uh, here intent that's related to get thing i'll show you this is the right this one action intent for the google assistant right so here i have mentioned this data this is the name you can change it you can change after that you will use same information here right and uh, that is the same they have given us the intent which intent we are using okay the, we are using for the view that's why we are mentioning here view so after uh, done it parts we will handle the how can we get the information so uh, in um, android there is a one override method or new intent it will uh, call whenever new intent will call right suppose in your application already open and that time if you are uh, using google assistant then this method will call and if your application is not open right so that time if you will uh, try to open your application through the google assistant then this method will not call because that time your whole life cycle will run so whole life cycle will run then you will get uh, in on create also and uh, if you are using flutter activity because this is the flutter application that's why i am using flutter activity uh, if you are uh, android then you will use the um, like uh, app uh, app activity okay so you will get in on resume also so i'll explain you how can you use that so forget about this flutter part you just uh, need if you are using on create then in on create you will get the info just need to intent action then you will check uh, which intent is calling so you can check without using google assistant you will get here always men if you using google assistant that time whatever intent you have implemented you will get that so in this uh, condition i will get the uh, get thing intent here and uh, using google assistant and whatever you um, like you have said here find waterfall in x y x y z application it's your application name then you will get here the waterfall waterfall command right action should be like that but uh, after that if i um, same thing i can handle that same like action data and here i will get the query through that so here i'll get whole text that i mentioned in the query this is the not part of the native this is the method channel so through that i'll uh, whatever the note i am getting through the intent i can send to the um, caught the dart or flutter so if you are using flutter then you can use method channel for sending the uh, intent data if you are using native code then until here you will get this same note and you can show or whatever on which screen you want to go then you can do it so it's very simple and uh, yeah i want to show main and must uh, uh, important part of the that app actions so i'll open here app action tool so they will give the options like uh, this is the optional so if you you mention here the name of your application so you can mention here like suppose then x y z so now this is uh, command will treat x y z if i'll click here it will create so now suppose then your application name is demo app but you in uh, app action tool you have mentioned here the uh, like xyz then you can uh, say like uh, search uh, search um, your any song in xyz because you have mentioned the xyz application 